the center of our hearts come and take your place oh it is where you belong come and take your place in the center
going to go into a time of worship in the word so I'm going to uh, just read the scripture and then we're going to sing and you're invited to sing along or to meditate on the word or just listen and receive 
Okay, so the scripture is from Psalm 46, 1. Okay, so I invite you to open your Bibles up to Psalm 46. Psalm 46, 1. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. We thank you, God, that it is in you that we find our strength. It is in you that we find our security. In all situations, in all circumstances, you are there. And you are our help. You are our refuge. So we thank you, Lord, that you do not forsake us. We thank you, Lord, that you walk with us and we can find our strength in you. Oh, God is our refuge and God is our strength. God is an ever-present help in trouble oh i will hold on to him only him for he is our refuge and strength he's our refuge and strength and i will look up to to him for he is my refuge and strength never present up in trouble Strength. He is our refuge. Don't give up. Don't let go. He is our strength. He is our refuge. Don't give up. Don't let go. He is our strength. He is our refuge. Don't give up. Don't let go. He is our strength. He is our refuge. Don't give up. Don't let go. He is
gives way, though the mountains be moved into the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam, though the mountains tremble at its swelling. God, thank you because you are our help, you are our strength, you are our refuge. We don't have to fear. Even when it feels like things are going wrong, even though it feels like we're being overcome, by our circumstances. We thank you, Lord, that we do not have to fear because we know that it is you who gives us strength. It is you who we look to, not at the things surrounding us. So we thank you, Father, that we can put all our hope in you.
trust you, I will trust you. Oh, help me to have faith in you, to believe in what you can do. Oh, help me to have faith in you. Help me to trust you, God. Help me not to be swayed. Help me not to be moved. Let me trust you, Father. To fix my eyes on you, help me to fix my eyes on you, help me to fix my eyes on you, only you. Help me to fix my eyes on you, help me to fix my eyes on you, help me to fix my eyes on you. access to gladness, to joy in you. So we choose life. We choose to drink of your living waters. We choose to find our joy in you. And we thank you, Lord, that you're always present. That your presence is here tonight. That your presence is with us at all times. 
And sometimes we don't understand your timing, but we know, Lord, that light overcomes darkness and you are the light. And that morning shall dawn and we shall see the light.
thank you that you reveal to us yourself as our refuge, as our strength, as our hope. And we can find full peace in you. We can find full security in you. We can find all our hope in you. So we thank you for revealing yourself to us at this time. Yeah, as your word says. And we just want to say, Lord, that we love you and we choose to look to you. Praise. 
worship in the word. So I invite you to open up your Bibles again to Psalm 46. Psalm 46, 6 and 7. The nations rage, the kingdoms totter. He utters his voice and the earth melts. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Lord, we recognize that you are Lord of all. When you speak, your voice is heard. And it moves, it moves the earth. And we recognize that you are Lord of all. You are the God who is with us. So we thank you, Lord, that even if others don't recognize it or the nations don't recognize it, we know that you are Lord over all and that you are our Lord and you are our fortress. Lord, at your voice, the nations move, kingdoms fall. Your voice has power. Your voices have power. Your voice has power. Silence just come like the waters. 
desolations on the earth. He makes war cease to the end of the earth. He breaks the bow and shatters the spear. He burns the chariots with fire. Lord, we choose to remember your works. We choose to remember who you are to us. You are the Lord of all. What can stand against you? Whom shall we fear? Because, Lord, we know that you are the Lord of all. So we remember that nothing can stand against you. We remember that when the enemy tries to bring fear, tries to yeah, make us afraid, we know that he cannot stand because you are on our side. And we remember how you have, you have delivered us.
Psalm 46, 10 and 11. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Thank you, Lord, that we can be still in your presence, knowing who you are. You are the I am. You are the Lord of all. You are exalted in our lives. And we exalt you in our lives, over all situations, over every single aspect in our lives. For you are the God who is with us. You are the I am.
now I want to give everyone a chance to respond to the Lord. I'm sure you've heard what he just said. I'm sure he was just talking to you right now. I just want to take some time to just respond back to him. You can pray, you can sing, you can do whatever you want. Just feel free to respond back. fullness in you we thank you that you speak to us that you're always near and thank you for reminding us who you are in our lives and who we are in you
into a time to pray for Kriya. And we will be praying tonight for families in Kriya. So this is an opportunity for you to take up your authority in Christ. Okay, as I lead out in prayer, come into agreement with me and then afterward, uh, lift up your own intercession to the Lord. Thank you, God, for creating family for us as a reflection of your character and a greater understanding of who you are. We lift up to you the families here in Korea. We declare they are rooted and grounded in love. It is you who first loved us. Because of this, it enables us to love. Awaken family members to see the value in one another and the blessings within family relationships. We pray for a softening of hearts. Where there is contempt and bitterness, we pray for forgiveness. We thank you, God, for giving the grace to forgive. And we declare 1 Peter 4, 8, love covers a multitude of sins. So we ask, Lord, help families to see each other with the right perspectives and release forgiveness just as you forgave us. We pray for healing to go forth in greater depths of love within families. Let's pray. children. Holy Spirit, we ask you to bring understanding of the value of each generation and the rich inheritance through family. We prophesy rivers of living water flowing throughout these generations and bringing unity. We speak for thanksgiving rising in hearts. Thank you for every family in Korea. Let's pray.
opportunity to pray for our own families and specifically for those who are not saved and before we pray for our families um, I know that sometimes it can be difficult to pray for our own family members and to have faith for them um, because they're so close to our hearts and we love them so much uh, so I want us to first come into the proper perspective, how God sees, um, and not go into it out of ownership or out of hopelessness. And if you feel like uh, that you lack faith, then ask God to awaken it and to give you the right perspective. So first I want us to um, just give our families to God and surrender. to God in faith because only faith pleases God yes. Yes. so as you pray for your family members I would like you to first thank, thank God for these family members and even say their names their specific names uh, and declare that every single one of these family members belong to God and then I would encourage you to just surrender each family member over to God and then go into um, yeah, just praying for them and their salvation. And there's a scripture up here, so you can pray out the scriptures as well. Let's pray.
families here in Korea yeah, and yeah the work the move that the new move that you're doing within the family oh God bringing that right mindset and correct perspective and we thank you for our own families Lord and this opportunity to just lift up prayers of salvation for them we thank you that you hear every single one of our prayers and that you will you cover them and that you love them so much. We thank you, Lord, knowing that they belong to you first. I will love you, Lord, in my strength. them tonight as we just pray for them Lord I pray that you will encounter them and that they'll be able to know you God and through the testimony that we have and all the stories that we share about you God as they listen they'll be able to be moved by the power of the Holy Spirit Lord and I pray that you will give us boldness to speak what we have to speak to them God I pray that you will give us opportunities to speak to them, Lord. 
God, thank you so much for what you've done and what you will do, God. You are so good. And we honor you and we worship you. Father, you're so beautiful. Yes. We love you so much. We pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you for coming out tonight. I hope you are blessed. I was very blessed by watching all of you worship. It's really awesome. Tomorrow we have another set in the morning. So if you're free, please come out and have a good rest of the night. Bye.